a new day, a new experiment, I may call. So I've been asked if this little uh, oscilloscope, and that's a FNIRC 1C15, can measure the Reaper. Well, I didn't test that, I did never tried that before, so uh, we're gonna try it now. And I have a resistor here. Let's check the resistor. Okay, ohms. And this is like 650 ohms. And we have a power supply right here. And this one delivers 14 volts on 250 milliamps. And we're gonna try to see the Reaper of this little power supply. Uh, supposedly have a bridge because this is DC out and uh, a capacitance or something inside there. I'm not sure because this was used for recharging a vacuum cleaner. But it's very possible to have a capacitor over there. Let's measure the current so we can have the resistor. Okay. And this is a very simple circuit. I'll show you later what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is done. Let's power on the power supply. So we have like 27.3 milliamps. Now, let's turn on the oscilloscope. The probe is on 1x. And of course, we're gonna have it right here. This should be minus. And this is plus. And there we go. We already have this waveform over there. We can see it very clear. So that's the capacitance discharging to the resistor. Now, can we measure the ripple? So far we have 100 millivolts scale. If you consider each of these is 100 millivolts, that should be like 200 millivolts ripple. But we can measure that very easy, helped by the machine itself. So we have a peak to peak of 212 millivolts. Now, if we consider having a, an extra capacitor, so let's have a 1000 microfarads to 16 volts in parallel before the resistor of course and this is right here yeah this is minus and this is plus and there we go you can see it already the ripple went down to 120 millivolts so that's the idea of the things uh, add more capacitance that will bring the ripple down but the, of course there should be a limit so uh, it's very nice to have a kind of balance in between the uh, capacitance and uh, the transformer and uh, everything gets the same with um, switch power supply because the end is the of course is the, uh, the same but uh, in our case we have a very small current and uh, can we measure the ripple with this one? Oh yes of course we can without doubts So very clear you can see it okay so let me show you what I have done over here so we have a transformer like this that's 230 volts AC that's the primary and this is the secondary goes to a bridge like this of course, then we have plus and we have minus, plus and minus, okay? And here, of course, we have the capacitor. Here, in these points, we're gonna have a kind of wave like this, okay? So this is half of the sinusoid from the AC, let's say 14 volts AC. When we apply the capacitor, 
then these things here will start leveling i mean the peaks here and if we apply a resistor and we're gonna start having a current from the power supply then as you can see over there we're gonna have something like this that means the capacitor is charging up in this point and then deliver the charge to the resistor and it's very clear we can see this very clear narrow situation well the ripple will be exactly this voltage over here in our case it's like 100 and oh it's jumping like let's call it 200 millivolts in our case okay if we add more capacitance then it's going down and down that's the story about measuring ripples so if the answer to the question if this one is capable of measuring ripple yes it's very capable shouldn't be any problem well it just came in just came into my mind another idea let's see if we can measure ripple with a simple multimeter so that should be very possible Re remember we had like 200 millivolts all we have to do is to have our voltmeter on ac and we go like this in parallel well this one is saying that we have like 0.66 volts 0.6 volts theoretically this should be the ripple but let me try with another multimeter these are not true rms so uh, i'm not sure about the results but anyway it's very possible well what i can say this one is jumping up and down now that's for sure the best way to measure it's with the oscilloscope well that's it for today thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe comment write uh, your ideas write your questions i'll do the best to answer and uh, see you soon with some other project bye bye